Today, this element of surprise like I encountered with changing faculties is something that we would hear from our alumni. They will have their own stories about how they encountered their life after UBC and just seeing how their life adopted and changed to what they were seeing in opportunities. I studied economics and I worked in digital media slash filmmaking as an editor. So in one line, you know, like what you study does not define you. I always had an interest in e-commerce, so that's kind of what I centered around after school. I, um, I got a part-time job, realized that's what I wanted to do. So even though I studied logistics, I went into uh, marketing. So now I work at Lululemon in their e-commerce department doing search engine optimization. I ended up working at a Blends Cafe on Broadway in Granville. What I did learn was how to engage with people who weren't scientists. I also learned about the huge amount of uh, coffee cup waste and this cafe waste that happens every day. And that was like one of the first things which kind of pushed me towards waste management. LinkedIn is a very powerful tool, so make sure you use it whenever you connect with someone. Make sure you add them and send them a small message like, I met you during this event, we discussed this thing. Uh, so do you remember who you are and build that connection. Get used to talking about yourself, like write a lot of different blurbs about yourself. Imposter syndrome is a huge thing that you have to start to overcome and how can you talk about your failures and your strengths um, like in a positive light. Quality rather than the quantity on the number of applications. When I was applying, there was a myth or at least I believed in the myth that you apply to as many jobs as you can. But it, honestly speaking to most people here today and people I know, generally people who've gotten the jobs, or even in my case, it's always been the ones where you, applications where you put in the most time and effort. So even if you're applying to just a few jobs, uh, making sure that you put in the effort and go above and beyond. Transferable skills are very important. It's not just your technical skills. Anything you learn that you think can work for another position, what you can do is when you're trying to apply for a position, go through what they're asking for and then try to match skills that you think you have to those that they're asking for. It might not be something technical, but something transferable. Your work is your nine to five family. So if you think of it in those terms, then you behave differently, you think differently, you will change your perspective on how you go about your job search. So think about how invested you are in this job. Like, do you really want this job and spend nine to five with these people? Like, when you do your resume, when people read this, will they be like, oh, I don't want to be with this person nine to five? Or will they be like, oh yeah, I want this person in my team? Mm, wow, thank you all. If I could just ask all of you to join me in thanking our panelists this evening. Thank you, Andrew.